Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic chess puzzle composed by Soviet chess problemist Vladimir Braun. It's white to move and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find a solution. Ready? Well, as you can see, although white has three post pawns on the seventh rank, but because of the fact that there is a back rank weakness, black is now threatening rook a1 checkmate, white has to be very careful. Of course, drawing the game with the help of a perpetual check is easy, but the task is to win with the white pieces, and now let's see how the winning line goes. White is first playing rook a7 check. By the way, if a move like g takes h8 queen, then simply rook takes h8. And again, all you can do is to give a perpetual check. By the way, black king will never step on c8 square because you can checkmate black king. That's why black will simply move his king on a8 and all white can do is to give a perpetual check. Let's go back. That's why. Instead of capturing the knight, white is first announcing a check from a7 and after king b8 is sacrificing his rook. Look at this beautiful move. King takes a8 is forced and b7 check. Now if king b8 then white can win black rook and if king takes c8 then there are a lot of ways to check mid black king. White is winning. That's why after b7 check, black is playing king a7. And now question arises, how should white proceed? But now white is going for another brilliant move. Is winning black rook and is promoting the pawn to a knight. Look at this. And now if black moves back his king on the eighth rank, then white will simply promote his pawn to a queen will cover the a1 square and white is winning. That's why after b takes c8 knight, black is playing king a6. This is a very cunning move after which white has to be very careful. For example, now if you promote your pawn to a queen, then black can play d4, can give away his last active pawn and after queen takes d4, black will sacrifice his rook and after queen takes a1, this is a stalemate. That's why after king a6, white is winning black knight, but is promoting his pawn to a bishop. And already by going for rook sacrifice, black can't draw the game. But anyways, black goes for this d4 move, bishop takes d4, and this time black is playing rook b3. The rook is eyeballing on b1 square, and we have bishop g6. And now comes rook c3. Yes, white has to be very careful. The threat is rook c1 checkmate and if bishop takes c3 then this is a stalemate. That's why after rook c3 white is playing bishop e3. He's covering the c1 square after which black rook again returns back on a3. Black is again creating mating threats and again white has to be careful. For example if you promote your pawn to a queen then rook a1 check is coming and after queen takes a1 we have a stalemate. That's why after rook a3, white goes for the second bishop promotion, h8 bishop. Rook takes e3, and again there is an underwater stone. You can't promote your pawn to a queen because of this rook e1 check. If queen takes e1, you are protecting your pawn on a5, and this is a stalemate. That's why after rook takes e3, white goes for an under promotion. And white rook appears on the board. Rook c3, but the rest is easy. Now white rook is covering the first rank and white is winning. And then bishop e5 is coming, yes, white is winning. This was simply a fantastic chess puzzle full of under promotions. If this puzzle was too difficult for you, here is another one. Try to find the mating line for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you liked this puzzle, give the thumbs up. For more puzzles, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video.